Last year's form, he would be perhaps even the favourite. Oscar Husselos, the Spaniard, when he was disqualified after finishing a clear first across the line in the World Indoor Championships. This year, however, his best is 46.31 compared to the 45.69 he ran last year. Set. Well, away they go, and the white there, and the Norwegian colours. We've seen carried to success by Jakob Ingebrigtsen and Varholm already eating up the stagger on Husilos and getting away from the rest of the field. Could be a parade for the Norwegian. He's coming across clearly into the lead. Husilos will follow into second place, and uh, it's 21.35 at the 200 metre point. It's quick, and Varholm is stretching. Husilos doing the best he can to hold him. Janisic is in the third place, followed by the Spaniards. Bua, but it's Varholm all the way around this track. He's led from the gun, and Varholm comes to his expected triumph in the 400 metres. He takes the gold medal. Who's the loss gets second? And the two men crashing to the track in close proximity in bidding for that bronze medal. The Dutchman Van Diepen and the uh, Slovenian Janisic. And Varholm has again smashed his Norwegian record. It's a world-leading performance. 45.05 because a very fine run by Husselos also in second place. So Varholm has uh, the European record has stood at 45.05 to Thomas Schoenleber from way back in 1988. And we've now got confirmation that Varholm has equaled that with his time of 45.05. Yet another triumph for this brilliant young Norwegian. Round four. Two fouls followed by that leading jump of 14.56, a lifetime best. Palatero came into the competition with the best on paper and has delivered Fourth round jump for the Spanish athlete. What has she got? Big, oh, collapsed a little bit there, but still got out of it. She knows. She knows. That's impressive. Very impressive, because that's the longest leap we've seen so far. By some margin, the three lines, gold, silver, bronze, clearly marked in the sand, and that's way beyond them for the event leader. 14.73. Screams of delight. A European leading jump. Well, with two jumps remaining, though, it ain't over yet. She's up for it, though. Here's the man who perhaps is the favourite, Alvaro de Arriba of Spain. And let's see whether he adopts that tactic again. He's certainly gone out hard. That's Jamie Webb of Great Britain and Northern Ireland on the inside. And he seems to be determined to take up the front running. Mark English, the Irishman. And coming across now is Kramer. And it's Kramer who takes up the lead. 
from English, from Webb. And then Chuka in fourth place. Well, they're going at a pretty good lick, it looks to me, at the moment. Just maybe slowing down and settling down now they've decided what their positions are and how they want to run it. Kramer, it is, pushing on from English and Webb. The Spaniards now coming up behind. And a burst right the way from the back, right the way through to the front now. And it's Buber, the Dane, who's done that. English trying to follow him. Webb coming up as well at the 400 metre point. 53-35. Reasonably respectable. Buber leads. Now Webb trying to get past English and does so. Webb now comes up onto Buber's shoulder and goes past him too. So the British athlete, just as he did in the heats and the semi-final, really determined to run it hard over the whole of the last two laps. But the challenge coming from Dariba as well. So at the bell, they go through in 120.20. And they're strung out, just one man really off at the back of the field. And the crowd really urging on Webb because he's trying his best to hold on to the flying Dariba. English still in third, but he's just being passed as well. De Arriba, it is, the Spaniard. Webb in second place, and he's run really well for his first medal, but there's no question about the winner. It is the favourites, De Arriba first across the line. Jamie Webb in second place, Mark English finishes in third. And 146.83, well, that was a good race and a, a good run by De Arriba. Not especially quick, but not one of those really pedestrian affairs to start with because Webb in particular really pushed it on with two laps to go and well rewarded Jamie Webb. Uh, he has smashed his personal best by running 147-13 in second place. Uh, he really has made huge progress this indoor season. But congratulations to De Arriba in moving up from third two years ago to winning now. Urania, he's the fastest in the field off a personal best of 7.78, which is the sort of standard actually that would have been uh, in contention to make the semi finals of the 60 metre hurdles. After one full start, then the runners in the second race of the 60 metre hurdles in the heptathlon settle down. And here is the leader, Tim Duckworth, going in lane four with the fastest man. On his right, Jorge Urania. Well, very good start, certainly by Duckworth and so too Urania. Urania flying away from the rest of the field. Going very well also with Sikora. A very fine run indeed by Urania. Sikora in second and Duckworth losing quite a lot of ground to the Spaniard there. Interesting to see whether in fact it means a, a change in the lead. Urania, 7.17.8, matching his personal best and getting 1,038 points for that. Zakora getting 8.02 in second place for 9.77. And Duckworth, 8.16. Well, that's a decent time for him, though not a best. 9.42, but that's nearly 1,000 down on Urania, who will now uh, just about match him in the overall standings, because there was 90-point gap between them before this race. Look at Urania really flying away. The Spaniard, an excellent hurdler, smoothly over those hurdles. And Duck were fighting hard to stay with him. But Sikora it was who took the second place, and he was just outside eight seconds. Samuelson, he got uh, 820, 932 points, so he will drop back a little bit as well. But Urania, who's actually not quite such a good pole vaulter as some of the others, but very good on the 1,000 metres. This really is going to be a fascinating competition when we come to our next two events. The pole vault, 
to conclude this session and then the 1,000 metres later on this evening. Shkoyanov now, of course, is onto the shoulder in fourth place. He's a likely medal candidate. But it's still Duckworth running out of his skin, it seems. Samuelson leads. Shkoyanov into second. Beckman in third. Urania now moved up. Van der Plaitsen slipped back a bit. And Duckworth is in sixth. Can he hold on to a medal? He's towering badly on this last lap. As out front, it's Samuelson. Here comes Urania. I thought he would. He wants to win the gold in style. He's the leader. He looked set for gold and a splendid last lap here, just as we saw from Katarina Johnson Thompson winning her final race. So Jorga Urania wins in great style. In second place, Skirinov. In third, well, I think Beckman got third, then Samuelson. How far back is Duckworth? That's the crucial thing we'll have to look out for on the times but no doubt about the gold medal going to Jorga Serenia and full marks to Duckworth because he was only four and a half seconds back. Each second is about seven points on the tables and Shkoyanov 2.45.45 well I'm going to wait for the times to confirm but now we know that Shkoyanov's got 808 points and we know that uh, Urania has got 827 and Duckworth Duckworth gets 7-7-1. Firm that result for you in just a moment. I think that's good enough for it Duckworth is, to hang on to a medal, maybe the your silver. Right, Bill, yeah. Silver medal for Duckworth. Well, full marks to him because we'd almost written him off, but we knew that he had to do, if the others ran up to form, and in fact they were a little below it, he had to do a 249, and he's done just that. So terrific marks for him. There's congratulations because Duckworth has got the silver behind Urania. Splendid performance throughout from Urania. 827 points there, and I can probably do some quick maths on that. It takes him to 6218, so that's a new Spanish record as well. Is yes, right? and yep. the, there hasn't been many heptathlons contested, but it's a world-leading mark. That too as well. Well, what a last lap. Urania bided his time, didn't he? He was fourth or fifth a lot of the time. I thought he was going to be able to produce a finish because we've seen, of course, some very good sprinting from the Spaniard. And he really has had a terrific two days right the way through. The new national indoor champion for Spain, Jesus Gomez. to the shoulder of Jesus Gomez, the Spanish champion. Four laps to go, 800 metres. It was interesting there. I mean, as soon as Inga Britson looked as if he was going to make a move, Gomez immediately responded. But having taken the lead, he slowed it a bit. Well, I have to say, with Lewandowski and Inga Britson in this field, I'm a bit surprised that some of the other runners aren't trying to string it out, particularly Prot, who has a 
good times to his credit and a good career record in the under 23 ranks but it's still Gomez in front with three laps to go 221 30 at 900 meters still pretty leisurely pace now Ingebrigtsen looks as though he's starting to just wind it up slightly and Lewandowski plays very nicely he's in third place just covering those at the front making sure he's not uh, boxed in Dennis Yell in fourth, Probst in fifth, Sazanak in sixth at the moment. Well, 400 metres to go. Ingebrigtsen swerves round Gomez. Gomez gives him a tap, and now Ingebrigtsen starting to head for home. Lewandowski now working hard in third place. Bit of daylight between the leading three, back to Dennis Yell. 57 seconds for the last 400, this is different. Well, Ingebrigtsen now coming up to hear the bell. Lewandowski on his shoulder. Lewandowski hits the front. Lewandowski now making his challenge for the gold. Ingebrigtsen now following him. Gomez starting to get detached. Gomez drifting back, still in third place, the Spaniard. This is the battle for the gold medal as they come off the bend for the last time. It's Lewandowski in front. Ingebrigtsen behind him. Has Ingebrigtsen got enough in his legs? No, it's Lewandowski pulling away to defend his title. Marcin Lewandowski takes gold, denies Jakob Ingebrigtsen a historic double, but a terrific race, tactically astute. Marcin Lewandowski defends his title and takes once again the European Indoor 1500 meters crown. Set. Well, at this stage, it's the Spanish away very quickly. So too Koaluk for Poland. Leonardi struggling, not really in the race at the moment. Priscilla gets across. So it's Spain in first place, Belgium, Great Britain, Poland, France and Italy. That's the order as they come up. With 50 metres to go to the first handover. Running a good leg. Well, Spain handover first, but Chalmers ran a good final 50 metres to give Britain second place at the handover. But it's now Dylan Borley who's taken over in second place. Manuel Guerrero. Semi finalist in the 400 meters. Completing the first 200 meters of his leg, Dylan Morley. And Joe Breyer, that's the one, two, three at the moment. Guerrero running very well, Dylan Morley just tracking him. Little bit of daylight back to Breyer. And coming the long way round, Rafael Amelko, who's ran so many good legs for Poland. Well, now it's Dylan Borley to Jonathan Borley. The Belgians in front. Lucas Buer in second place. Well, Jonathan Borley putting a bit of distance between himself and Lucas Buer. I think this may well turn out to be the crucial leg because the Spanish don't have a strong runner on the last leg. Ben Alerta. Who are now closing down a bit on Jonathan Borle, getting up on his shoulder. Borle suddenly starting to look very tired over the last 30, 40 metres. So it's going to be Bua who hands over to Erta in the lead. It's the Spaniard in the lead. Can he resist the former European champion outdoors, Kevin Borle? No, Kevin Borle now making up the ground very quickly, up onto the shoulder of Erta. Long way back in third, it's the Poles leading the way for the bronze medal battle at the moment, but France and Great Britain, Northern Ireland on the shoulder of Damien Chikia. But at the front, a good five metres between the first two and the rest. Bernal Erta, well, he's been trying his best, but now coming round the outside, it's Kevin Borley. Belgium on their way to regaining the title they won back in 2015. Well, as I say that, Erta battling back. 
Erta really working hard, but just can't quite get up on the shoulder of John Kevin Borley. Well, Erta, no international credentials, without doubt the weakest member of the team, but did his best to try and close down on Jonathan Borley, who at one time was the Europe number one 400 meter runner. Should say Kevin Borley. <laughs> And France come through for the bronze. Well pleased. But the gold medal goes to Belgium. Handshake between Kevin Borley and Bernal Erta. Well, at the changeover, I thought Kevin Borley was going to run away from the Spaniard. But a terrific last leg by Bernal Erta. Doesn't get himself up into the gold medal slot, but he gave Kevin Borley such a run for his money.